Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Mr. Bravo's workshop. Uh, in our last episode, we did the flus, or started to anyway, and we were about to do the spiders. And we did talk about that they need to be black and everything else. So I think what we'll do today is we'll get started on the spiders on top. But of course, I've just made a fresh batch of coffee. Uh, so we'll get into it right after that. Hmm, love the coffee. Okay, getting the instructions out, let's get them out. And here they are here, which is PE3, and we need oh, uh, C28 to go on the bigger one and C29 to go on the skinnier one or the smaller one here. Uh, so we may be, we did not get them confused. So let's get... The small one off first, which is the top one, which is C29. Let's do that. Yeah, there they are both together. And you can clearly see they are different. Um, they, yeah, most definitely. So we need C29, which should be for the original one. Um, I'm just trying to work this out one second. Okay, looking at the rear mast of the ship, which is the smaller one, because that's the wider one, that is C29. So let's get that off and let's have a look. And of course, there it is off. Let's get it cleaned up. Okay, so there it is all cleaned up and that is for the rear flu. So let's get the rear flu off. If we can take that off. Yeah, and let's put that piece on. Yeah, it's a good fit. Of course, this has got to be black, if I can say that in English. Um, this has to be black. Uh, and we need a spider on there. How does it fit on the outside? It's got a good little lip on that. If we paint that all black and add that afterwards, um, that'll have a very nice crisp. Uh, this is supposed to be white, this one, I believe, or the light color. Uh, with the black spider on it, that'll look pretty good, just like that. Um, I did consider, just while I was looking at this, um, to cut this piece out to give it that flu depth, but I don't know. Um, I, I really don't know. Um, let's get the PE off for this one as well, which is PE3. Let's have a look. Yeah, and just looking at the PE, they are two different ones for two different flus. So while we're staying with this flu, let's stay with it, which is PE3. So we need this one here off. Let's get that off. Um, I did not notice this in the bag before when I was talking about the PE. I pulled the, uh, the PE out of the bag, and there is some chain in there as well. Um, Quite big, chunky chain. Let's get the chain out and have a bit of a look. Yeah. What else is in here? No, that's a bit of uh, plastic pieces. Look at that. Got some nice links on that one. Let's zoom in and have a look. Yeah, that's nice chain. That'll look very nice. Uh, black. Don't suppose we could leave it this colour. Nice long loops. I do like that. It looks very good. So I'll pop that back in the bag and back in the box just for now. So we'll quickly get the wrap off the PE. I mean, you may tell me off for doing it this way. I don't really know. Anyway, that's one side. Let's get the other as well. There. Oh yeah. Let's be careful with it though. That's the way. Okay, there's our PE. Looks nice. Looks pretty flash. Get rid of the plastic as well. Okay, a close look up at the uh, the spider which is number three. Let's use the pointer. 
um, you'll notice, well, I can see it under the micro lens, there is like a little step just here, there, and there, and there's one there, probably no more than a mil, to be honest. Uh, is there one up here at the end? Yes, there is one there also. Now, on the plans, if you look very carefully, they are kind of like little legs. So, not only do we have to roll this uh, to give it some sort of circle, like circle, circle the right word, uh, yeah. Um, but we have to do the legs as well. So, let's very carefully get this off. Let's place this down here. Now, I did not show you this last time uh, on the Queen Elizabeth because, well, PE is not my strong point, and it's not. Um, let's see now. I can feel the groove there, the chop there. Yeah. And there's another one here. There. And there should be another one here. A chop? Felt like a chop. There should be another one just here. Now you are zoomed in an awful long way there, and even the micro lens is not really helping me much here. There he goes. Let's turn him around a little bit. Yeah. Let's do that one as well. There, let's spin it right around. Uh, it spun right around, and to be honest with you, I'm actually having a very hard time seeing this. Um, we've got the flat blade there. So I just sort of kind of feel it, and then that one, that one, that one. That one. And I do believe there's one more. I'm going to spin it around one more time. Here we go. It should be the blade that way. Somewhere about there. Yeah. And that should release our piece. From here. Yeah. There we go. We'll put this PE aside. Okay, let's try and pick that up. Well, that ain't going to work. Look at that. I need to straighten my um, my little tweezers out. Hang on a second. That's a bit better. Now I can actually grab. Yes. Let's grab that. Yeah, much better. Let's bring it up so you can have it. Bit of a look at it. Let's go right in. You can see those little tabs just on the right hand side there. They're kind of like little feet, and they are no more than a mill. So I think what we'll do, because uh, we have the spider piece just the background down here. How much of a bend do we want on it? Probably not much. So, is there a front and back? Let's have a look. I'm going to flip this one over. I know you can't see it very well, but yeah, I think those legs fold up. Sorry about that. I got a call just uh, just then. Yeah, there's not a huge bend in this, um, and I'm actually thinking. Does that work? No. We need something soft. Let's go with something like that. And push it down. Ooh, come back. Where's my tweezers? Come back. Hang on. Sorry about that. I knew we were a bit out of focus there. So what I did is basically, I don't know if you can see it, it's already got a curve in there because basically I just pushed it down with my nail or sorry with my finger 
trying to give it just a little bit of a curve just like that uh, it doesn't need much of a curve well that's probably too much but anyway and we can nudge him back down Send it back around the other way. I did say PE is not my strong point, and it's not. Um, and I know plenty of people are going to say that's not the way that you do it. You're probably right, it's probably not. Better. Nice rounded pin. How do we look? Well, it's got some nice round bits to it. This is such a small, fragile little piece, though. Which way is it supposed to go? It's supposed to go the short end to the short end here. Something like that. And this is probably why it's... Let's bring that back. Where is it? Just, oh, it's still there. Just out of focus, though. Let's go this way. Um, I do have to bend those legs around, and I'm going to have to find my PE glue as well. Um, it probably looks terrible on that angle, but if I roll it around that way and put him back on, something like that, it's probably not that bad. Um, I'm going to have to straighten those legs up. I'm going to have to play around a little bit. I'm going to bring the the, uh, the the drawing back in just for one minute as well. Hang on a second. Yeah, they kind of look like they fold up underneath and onto that lip. Um, and there it is finished on there like that. So maybe we'll just bend those pieces backwards now and see how it fits sorry not the camera well there's the pe now can i do that though i don't even know if i can do this while i'm online it's so small um and it's so fiddly i, d I do not know if i can do it um i can grab it like that that kind of works oh Hang on. I yeah. think this will work if I just put them this way and bump those edges over. Will that work? I don't know. Hang on. So what I did is I got the tweezers, uh, and the tweezers, if I can bring them in, are here, quite big. Um, and I bent them up one at a time and then sort of brought them over and then um and brought them in to bend them over just like that i lost it here we go now it kind of looks a little crooked here but this thing is so small that you can't really see it um, now if i turn this over and put it on the bench where is it on the bench i don't know there it is so there it is on the bench with the little legs down obviously we can adjust it from here Uh, so I think what we're going to do now, I brought the little man in here to hang on to it, but he, um, he didn't work. So let's bring, let's go out so you can see what I'm doing. Um, so now that that piece is done, let's go flip it over. Is it that way? Yeah, and I think we need that piece down there like that. How are we going here? Well, doing them a lifetime here. Let's spin him around a little bit. Now, what I'm thinking is 
I will probably glue the one side with PE glue and then nudge the other side in. Um, let's zoom in, see how that looks. Nudge the other side in um, just to pop itself back in. They are all bent over. It does have a nice little bend in it. Um, it is a very small fiddly piece. And I do believe I'm going to leave that centerpiece in there just to make this a little easier to put together. Just like that. Um, there's another view of it underneath. Now, yes, I do know they're not all exactly even. So let's try and muck around and put him on there. Which side should I do first? Wow, it's just kind of extra fiddly, eh? Um, I think I'm going to leave it there, and I can do one leg at a time and nudge it over if I have to. Okay, I think I'm happy with it there, and I think what I'm going to do is start to drop some glue on this side here. And just nudge these in and adjust them one at a time. That's what I think I'm going to do. Okay, got the CA glue out. Um, put some on here. I'll get the toothpick and we'll drop a little piece on there. So right now I'm in the micro lens. And I really want that spun around to kind of suit me a little better. Yeah, just like that. Um, so right now we've got the toothpick. Uh, I don't know how far you can see in here. Can I get a little closer? Yeah, I can. Let's tilt that just a little bit. Let's put a little bit of glue on there. Yeah, kind of happy with that one. My hand stuck to the tape. And let's put a little bit of glue on that one and just while I'm there I'm just going to give that one a little tiny nudge back this way yeah just like that oh take it easy I'm actually now thinking to myself maybe super glue would be better for this um, for the simple fact that I really need this to go off a bit quicker than what is actually going off. Do I have any super glue left in this one? Let's have a look. Then we can get some out of here. Oh, it's already gone out, has it? Maybe. Yeah, that one's gone out. There's another one kind of set up just there, so I'll drop some glue on him just to help get him started. Yeah. And then I'll move the next leg like that. You go in. Yeah, something like that. In you go. Oh jeez, not the easiest job, that's for sure. Uh, kind of had this set up right before. Nudge him in. No, nope, he twisted out. Yeah, I'm stuck. Hmm. Oh, give me a minute. Well, there it is on. Uh, it's taken quite a lot of mucking around just to, you know, small adjustments and everything else to get it kind of right. Um, it's not exactly perfect, but uh, it was not the easiest thing to fit on. Uh, and like I said, I'm not that good with PE. Uh, I can admit my own mistakes. <laughs> um, so, yeah, just I will muck around with this a little more, just trying to get it a little better. Um, it is rounded that way, and it is rounded that way as well. Can I get it a little more? It's rounded that way. So, 
Yeah, um, and I mean, look, it's tinier than me um, than my fingernail. So let me get rid of that glue. Uh, let me just adjust this a little more, and I'll come back. Well, there it is. It's kind of on um, now. You're going to see this from a long way off. You are zooming in quite a lot there. I am constantly re-straightening these and just, you know, re-marking around with them and whatever else. Just, um, just trying to get the cage exactly right. Uh, and obviously the camera doesn't always do the best either. Um, it is kind of like how I want it. I just, am I completely happy with it? No. Uh, but it is on and let's have a look at it on the flu. Well, there it is on the flu. It's not bad. It's, look, it's not perfect. Um, and it's not. Uh, but it is close. Um, look, I will try and do better with the next one. Um, I have a, an old saying with a man with a fast horse wouldn't be able to tell. Um, and, you know, yeah. I'm, look, I'm a little embarrassed by this, to be honest. Um. And I will keep mucking around with, of course, just those very, very slight adjustments just to try and get it a little better. Well, there is our next one. Let's quickly get that off as well. There it is off. Let's get the ends all bent up. So there it is with all the legs bent up. And I have dropped this. I have lost it. It is flung off. It has done everything. Uh, this is not the easiest thing to work with, I can tell you that much. But there they are with the legs bent over. Now we're going to put a bend in it. And I think what we're going to do is pretty much do what we did before. Or can we do this now? Let's have a look. Any old trusty pen helpers? Now this one was to be round, so we need that one a little more there, and a little more there. Let's have a look and see how that goes. Well, that looks terrible, I know, but let's see how it fits. Okay, we are back. Now, for you, it's probably been maybe a few seconds since the last time. Uh, it's probably been more than an hour for me, probably even an hour and a half, mucking around trying to put this one on. Um... It's still not perfect, and like this one, once it was dry, I was able to just move it around a bit. And once this one becomes dry, I'll be able to just, you know, those little micro fixes here and there, just to make it come up good. Um, so for now, they're done. Let's put them back on the flue and have a look. There they are on the flue. Um, one is sort of more elongated than the other. This is more rounded. Um, they don't look particularly all that good in the camera, uh, but you are seeing them very far, very close. You can see them much like that. And they do look okay like that. Uh, I mean, I, I am going to adjust them more, but for now, um, let's let them dry right off. Whoops, knocked the camera again. And let's put these in a black container. Uh, no mistake in what they are. And I've already knocked them, I don't know how many times. Um, so for now, just until they go right off, I'm going to leave them in there. Um, to basically stop them getting beat up a little bit. Um, so pretty much that is the spiders of the flu done in the box there like that. And look, to be honest with you, I'm, I'm never happy to do those spiders. Um, I struggle with them a little bit uh, and have. Um, but they are on there and I can guarantee you that when they're painted, they'll look good. So, uh, pretty happy that they're on. And like I said, I will adjust them a little bit more. So for now, we'll just pop that down the back there. Um, and before I knocked the glue over, which was on the, on the flue, then the top flew off and it was all sort of happening here. Uh, so what's next? Well, on page 12, we have 17 and 18 now done apart from painting, uh, what's left is basically a mast. Uh, but we're not doing mast yet today, so let's flip the page and have a look a little forward. So on the flip of the page is a new structure, and we're probably just about out of time for today. So I think in the next episode, we're going to start on a brand new structure. So I think we'll leave it there for today.
And again, I hope you have enjoyed this episode. I've struggled through this one uh, just a little, and it has taken a very long time. I probably spent two hours at least doing this episode um, to get a pretty good result. I, like I said, when they go fully hard, I will muck around with them a little more, and you can get them very straight once they're on. Anyway, uh, I'll hopefully I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.